If I ask you which month of the year you think that the earth is closest to the sun you would say during june july or maybe august then you are wrong earth is far away from the sun in these months remember the sun's distance from earth changes throughout the year but it has nothing to do with the seasons hello friends welcome to top brain gk today's topic is perihelion and aphelion as we know that the earth orbits the sun in an elliptical path which is oval not circular it means that there is one point on this path when earth is closest to the sun and one point when the earth is farthest away from the sun and these term called perihelion and aphelion these term describe different points in the earth's orbit of the sun let's understand by this image when the earth is closest to the sun about 2 weeks after the december solstice it is called perihelion this time in northern hemisphere has winter season conversely the earth is farthest away from the sun about Two weeks after the June solstice, it is called aphelion. This time in northern hemisphere has summer season. When aphelion happens, the Earth is around ninety four point five million miles away from the sun. The Earth is farthest to the sun at the aphelion position. And when perihelion happens, the Earth is around 91.4 million miles away from the sun the earth is closest to the sun at the perihelion position at this point the earth is over 3 million miles away as compared to when the earth is closest to the sun it means the difference in earth distance from the sun at perihelion and aphelion is about 3 million miles According to Kepler's second law earth spins slowly at aphelion and spins fast at perihelion as a result northern summer on earth is bit longer than southern summer thank you so much for watching this video if you have any question or queries do let me know in my comment box thank you so much